Well, for those that are braving the weather and the rain here, they might be looking for their favorite fair food. Well, there's one that you're not going to find this year because after 40 years, the Crescenti is retired. KCCI's Bo Bowman is live with this story. Hi, Bo. Yeah, Laura, for 40 years, the Vossler family had set up shop here just south of the Triangle on Rock Island Avenue, and they kneaded the dough by hand and served it as fresh and fast as they could. But like he always does, Father Time caught up. The rain is falling on a new roof this year on the Iowa State Fairgrounds, a spot occupied for decades opened up after the Crescenti stand didn't come back. The Vossler family had been serving up their fried bread sandwiches for 40 years and last year decided to retire. I was the dough maker. <laughs> B and Barry were the chefs behind the warm Italian bread, but he says the idea came from his grandmother who would bake homemade bread and fry the leftover dough for the grandkids. My grandmother, who spoke very little English at the time, her expression of crescentes. I says, Grandma, what is, why do you call it crescentes? She says, Mary, she says, it's a crescendo or it's a raisin. The bread raises like a crescendi, like a crescendo. And that's how, that's how she described it. It was just fun. Scrapbooks is how their history was captured, but they could never replace the memories made with loved ones. That's what I mean about dancing. Kneading the dough by hand all day, every day during the fair can take its toll even on an experienced baker, which is what led to the decision to close the doors for good. I knew my husband was ready to go years before that. I just couldn't say now, you know, till the last year it was like now. But the Vosslers are left with the sense of a job well done. All the grueling work paid off, giving fairgoers a piece of their family's story, always served best deep fried. I was just taken back by the fact that people would wait 35, 40 minutes for a crescenta. They'd stand out there. And I thought, I'm not that patient. How can people want to? But you know, it made us feel good. I did ask if they would share the secret recipe or uh, any secret ingredients to how they make that bread. And B told me, absolutely no way the recipe is under lock and key. They did tell me, though, that they are thrilled that the Dairy Zone here behind me has taken their place. It's another local business based right out of here in Des Moines, just down University, a few blocks. So they were very happy that another family gets to have their own tradition now. We're live at the Iowa State Fairgrounds. Bo Bowman, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.